Hey everyone, today we're going to look at this right side toolbar slide out. This is where you can make global changes to your closet uh, all in one. The first uh, option is the co closet color. So let's just change this to antique white. And I'll change all your walls to antique white. Gonna change this back to a dark color, just to make it a little easier to see. Our next is the finish, so this will affect your rods, your uh, handles, shoe fences. So you can see them change into our uh, brass color. We can do radius or straight panels. Um, first, let me. Oh, I'm sorry. First, let's put this up on the wall, so you can hop between floor and wall. It's not too easy to see here, but let's hop into the 3D and show the the radius panels. Yeah, we don't have too many hanging, but you can see over in this corner we have one uh, raised panel there. Over here also on these hangings. So from here you can change it all to straight or radius. Also panel configuration, you can do doubled or shared. One thing to know is when you change it to doubled, it is going to take some uh, small amount of inches. And you get a message up here off of... Um, some of your units to double up on all those panels. Let's see, double rows. Yeah, so it's just saying that space was taken. Uh, crown molding or not, so if we want to remove our crown molding. Uh, base molding or not, we can mess with that. Uh, the finish on our tag hardware, that was not included uh, before in our hardware finish, our tag hardware is specific. On uh, wall 3 over here you can see I have some tag hardware. So let's change that to uh, matte gold. And again, that if we had tag hardware on another wall, that would change both wall 3 and that other wall. Backing, we can add backing to uh, anywhere we want so let's do add backing and exclude drawers it's also important to note that my account set up to exclude backing on wall hung units so you won't see it on the wall hangs either so let's put this to the floor see if we get anything else to pop in here so we got backing on all these shelves all over here so I have backing excluded on the wall, but not not when it's on the floor. I'm just going to take that back off, though. Then we have advanced colors. So uh, say we wanted to do something funky with the edge banding on the closet. Um, make them all ruby plank. Man eh, that might not be easiest spot. Let's make it white just to show how this is done. It applying, you can see the edge bang for the entire closet has now been changed to white. Again, if you go into one of these specific walls and do any of these uh, color changes, such as edge bang white, if we want to change this back to chocolate pear, this is going to affect this one wall, not the entire closet. When you're when you're working at the one wall level, it will only affect that one wall. That's for the advanced colors, not when you change the whole closet color in this first option. It's going to affect the entire closet, no matter if you're in the wall or not. So I'll, I'll just show you that real quick. I'll come in here and change everything back to chocolate pear. And this is going to affect not only these shelves, it's also going to take that edge banding off of all the other closets, uh, I'm sorry, walls in here. And you can do that with any of these categories, base color, the crown color, backing, any, any of the colors can be changed across the closet or within the wall specifically. Drawer and door type, you can go overlay or inset. Let's switch it over to inset. That one might be a little hard to uh, to see here, so I'm not going to show you, but trust me, that one, that one works. And then we have popular closet organizer styles down here. This is uh, a cool tool where you can either remove all the units on a wall or uh, pre-fill that wall so let me just show you how this works if you do it on the whole closet 
be careful because it will remove all the units in the closet. Um, so I mean, it's very uh, very powerful, and I would recommend using it on the wall level, not in the full closet level. Just to remove all the units here. And you can see wall one and wall three, which were the adjacent wall, adjacent walls to wall two. Um, they had floor shelves on theirs, and now they have open space, so they're they're no longer complete. But if we come back in, and we decide to prefill this wall again, you can see it popped them back in. So verticals. Okay, so just giving us a a note right there. That some space may have taken been taken from a unit. And then one last thing to see uh, is you can see this red um, line coming out. That's because we extended past the wall over here. I'll just show you uh, actually in the 3D first. Take off these two walls. You can see we have this unit expanding past the wall. The wall is right in here. I'll show you how we can do that. First off, to take it off, but again, this one is only available when you're in at the wall level, not on the full closet. So we're currently at 14 and a half. Let's go back to zero. Have another know about our double verticals. And now you can see this freed up uh, five inches of space. Let's take off these uh, shared panels or double panels. Six and a half over here. Let me just equalize this to. Oops, excuse me. So we have six and a half to work with, but let's say we want to go back to extending fourteen and a half out. So we're going to extend beyond the right wall fourteen and a half inches. And now let's put that back in on these two drawer and shelving units. Let's equalize with these three. And now we're back to expanding back out across the wall. I'll show you how that looks. Right back out here. Uh, you can see some of these others fell off because I changed the um, from double to sh from uh, double vertical panels to shared here. So uh, you'd probably have to go in. You'll have a little smidge of space from all the verticals that we uh, removed from having them doubled. Uh, other than that, uh, that's, that's all I have for you. So if you have any questions, give us a call. And uh, thanks for joining in.